Hey gang, Scott here. A little bit ago I posted a video with five little recipes for using curves and uh, it struck a chord. People really enjoyed the video. So I've got like one little uh, bonus tip for you using curves and this one is for print prep. Like when you've got spectral highlights in a photo, those little tiny blown out areas that you just they're tough to get rid of in some scenes like like a scene like this where I have these spectral highlights from the Sun just you know flowing all the way through the center here pressing the J key here in Lightroom to turn those on and these little bits and pieces and if you try to go into things like the basic panel and say let me take down highlights you know the whole scene changes and that's not what I want to happen I like everything else and I'm preparing for print you know on screen won't even care about these when it's printing I want there to be ink that hits the paper and if it's blown out no ink goes there so there's a little trick with curves to help you out here I've got this trick turned on so let me let me uh, hit the little button here and notice those highlights are no longer blown out before after what's going on in the tone curve it looks really normal with one tiny change the upper right corner the white point notice the output is no longer 255 it's 254 so you know you have normally this is what your curve looks like you grab that top point and you nudge it down just a little bit and usually 254 or 253 is all you need and depending on the tool you're using you can also just type it right in right? and that's it before and after that little tweak, it's a great way to get rid of the spectral highlights, little tiny speckles that are blown out in your photo. And then you're ready to print this. You know ink is going to hit that paper. Hope you found it useful. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.